In today's video, I'm reviewing the Engineer DR55 Mini Offset Ratchet. And this is a pretty unique little tool that's made in Japan. So let's take a closer look. At first glance, you can tell that this is a really well-built tool. Most of the parts are made from metal. It has two body plates that are riveted together. And most of the parts that really count, including the head of the ratchet, the body plates, and the pins are all made from steel. It also has a nice powder-coated semi-gloss finish to it. The ratchet body itself measures about four and a half inches in length, and it measures about three quarters of an inch at its widest point. Now this is compact but not as compact as I would have liked it to be and it makes fitting into tight spaces a little challenging and especially in places like doorknobs where there's very little clearance where you could really use a little bit more clearance. The width of this head is really its Achilles heel so I really wish that they had skipped this thumb screw here and instead given us a slightly narrower body which would fit into tighter spaces. In terms of bits it comes with four Phillips head bits and a single slotted style bit. They measure in at about 18 millimeters and having such a small size bit gives the ratcheting driver such a low profile and you can actually see how small these are as compared to standard quarter inch drive bits and even with the bit installed it measures in at a little under three quarters of an inch which is really compact for a driver like this. Now talking about standard quarter inch drive bits they do fit into the driver but they don't seem to be retained as well as the bits that came with the driver itself. However, if you need to use standard size drive bits, you definitely can. But I really wish that engineers sold a larger and more comprehensive set of these miniature bits. It would have been extremely useful to have more bits available that you could either buy as a separate kit or that was actually bundled with this driver for a higher price. To remove bits from the DR55, you can use the pointed end of the bit holder, push it into the back of the ratchet and push it till you see the bit come out the other end and then you could just pull it out. And to install the bit, place the bit into the driver and push it in and it'll lock into place. Now to change the direction of rotation, you have this little switch here, which you can flip either way to change the direction and you can actually see these little markings that show you which direction the ratcheting driver is turning. So while it isn't great for fasteners in very tight corners where you actually need a super low profile screwdriver, if you want to use it as a regular ratcheting screwdriver where space is not really an issue and you just need a ratcheting screwdriver that's well built yet inexpensive, this is fantastic. So should you buy the Engineer DR55? Well, that all really depends on what you plan to use it for. So if you plan to use it as a regular ratcheting offset screwdriver, where your fastener is in pretty open space and you don't need your screwdriver to fit in tight, close corners, this is a great inexpensive option. It's solidly built and will get the job done really well. To remove fasteners from very tight locations, this is definitely not your best option. So for fasteners like fasteners on doorknobs where you can't really access it with a regular traditional screwdriver, I recommend getting a set of Annex right angle low profile screwdrivers. These screwdrivers are really well built have excellent fit and finish, and more importantly, they're very low profile, so you can actually get at those fasteners. I'll leave a link to both the DR55 and the Annex set right below this video, so feel free to check that out. And if you own one of these, I'd love to hear about your experience, so leave me a comment below. And I hope this video has been useful. If it has, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to stay tuned for more reviews, unboxings, and how-to videos. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.